There he goes, one of God's own prototypes. Dude, I would never want to spend, like, even ten minutes inside of your head. A high-powered mutant of some kind never even considered for mass production. Like, it's such a shit show. Too weird to live, but too rare to die. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Johnny Buck, here on The Johnny Buck Show. And uh, as... Well, not as always, because, you know, shit's changing constantly with me. So, uh, but we will do the housekeeping stuff. Uh, do me a solid uh, like, share, follow, five-star review, Google, whatever the hell it is with you guys uh, with the podcast. That way we can make an impact with more people. So uh, I want to kind of review something, you know, for some of my new listeners or viewers. Uh, I'm actually putting these on YouTube now. I'm pretty sure I'm putting them on YouTube. I'm trying to put them on YouTube. Um, no. Uh is you know what I, i've been working as a client for, since 2016 2017 with business coaches of different why does that like, why do i get 700 emails when i'm trying to record a fucking podcast they just they decide that's the day they want to email me um but uh this is not the most professional podcast um but you know my uh about a year ago uh, a little over a year ago i started working with uh Mike Claudio with Winrate Consulting, and we did something. Uh, we, we did a project called Championship Legacy or Championship Day. And it's what is what is your purpose? Um, and it's been a huge change. I've got to do an, another client onboarding for something else. But what's happened in the past year, year and a half or so, it, it's been unbelievable. It, it's it's been a big change mentally, physically. Um, you know, I've gone through a lot, you know, I've got diagnosed with autoimmune disease last year. So mixed connective tissue disorder, which is fun. Um, I think my symptoms parallel lupus and rheumatoid arthritis, which is, I can't tell about arthritis because I've been abusing my body for so long. But one of the things I think, and this is one of the most important things I've learned in the past, you know, year or two years or five years or 10 years is what is my purpose? Like, what is the actual purpose of me being here? What am I doing uh, with all this stuff? So, and, you know, my purpose is to empower, inspire, and show others how those willing to do the work can achieve more than imagined possible by being the example. And I've always wanted to help people. I've always wanted to do good. I've always wanted to make sure that I'm giving to people. Uh, I'm a coach. Uh, that's what I do at, at my heart. I am a coach. I coach jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, MMA. I've done business coaching. I still do business coaching. Um, I've done mindset coaching. I just help people in, in many ways as possible. And so that's been my thing. But a lot of it I've struggled with. Right. A lot of us struggle with like, you know, what do I do or what about this? And, you know, as I the thing that I've done really well, I feel like is I've always done something and not always a plan. I've always been working towards improving. I've always been working to do better and I've not been as consistent as I want to. But when I step back and look at it, and I'm kind of talking about what's going on later, but as I step back and look at it, I've done a lot, man. I've made a huge improvement. I've, I've constantly been working towards something and not without the clarity I need to know exactly what to do next step, which is really what I'm working on now. But uh, it's been a wild adventure, you know. So uh, I just want to kind of do an intro for you for you guys who are just now finding me um, or whatever. But what I want to do is, is talk about, one, go back and – Watch my previous podcast and more, more recently, more recent ones. There's some crazy shit from a couple years ago, but uh, I, I think I didn't delete them because it's important to see the evolution of what happens. You know how my mind is improved, how my body's improved, how my thought process, my beliefs, how they have they how they've changed and shifted, and and you know you can see that evolution. You know when I hit a thousand podcasts, it's gonna be really cool to go back and look at the first one. Um, not just because of the shitty quality, but because of like who I am, who I've become, uh, you know, and one of the things I try and work on every single day is, is who do I want to be and what do I want to be known for? And, you know, that's a big thing. I, I want to be known for the guy that helped rebuild the American dream. I want to be the guy, you know, getting back in shape, having, a, having a good marriage, um, you know, divorce rates over 50%. The average American is, is obese. And I, th you know, most people don't have the, the finances to do things. And I want to help educate people. Like, listen, I'm not fucking special. I'm extremely good looking, but that's all I've got going for me outside of everything else. Uh, it depends on who you ask and what day it is. But, you know, I, I've, I'm, the, I'm proof that you don't have to be 
born to a rich family. Dude, my parents were both entrepreneurs. They're some of the worst fucking business owners I've ever seen in my entire life. They provided for me, but they didn't do it right. And, and, and I want to show you guys what I'm doing. I want to document what I'm doing. I was talking to my, uh, one of my coaches the other day. The one thing I wish I did when I was starting Rogue Combat Club is document everything I did. And I've got some documentation, but I did, dude, I was struggling every fucking day to do something to move, move the needle, not get, the, not get my house taken away or, you know, my car taken away, not, you know, be able to pay rent, whatever situation is. I've always been trying to do that. So I've just been go, 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 go in a general direction of better. Um, so what I'm doing for you guys who are new is I'm, I'm, most likely, unless something crazy happens, I'm going to be starting another company this year. Uh, I'm going to partner with somebody else. And I've always said I'll never have a partner again, but uh, that's not true. Uh, I it, The first partnership I rushed into, uh, it was did not align with who I was. And I was 20-something years old. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. But it didn't align with who I was. It didn't align with what I believed. And we just jumped on an opportunity because I didn't know any better. So, I'm going to document this one. Uh, I'm looking at partnering with a buddy of mine to jump into a plumbing industry. Um, you know, we, we seem to be on the same page. We have a few more details to work on. But what I want to do is talk about what it's like right now. So, I'm documenting the pre-partnership part of this, um, you know. And I have, so I have an MMA gym. That's one of the most successful gyms in the country. We're in the top 1% of earners. Uh who do really well there. I've got 390-ish members. I don't know off the top of my head right now, but just shy of 400 members. I've got 10 or 11 people on staff. Um, we are growing constantly. We're constantly moving in the right direction, usually, or usually right? Um, we're doing that. Uh, giving back to, giving back is a huge thing for me. So we, we uh, partner with Black Mountain Home. It's a foster youth development. I don't know the exact details. Basically, it's a foster orphanage type place. Um, and they're awesome, dude. Some of the best people you have ever met and genuine. Like we went by their campus the other day, it's 200 acres, I think they said, uh, and it do, it's just people who generally care. Um, I've always had a bad taste in my mouth with shit like this, but these guys were, were on point. So, uh, long story short, we did, uh, we sponsored a couple families, um, you know, foster families, basically they give us a list of how many kids they have, how many, or how many people are in the house, what kind of things are into and we, we said, you know, we'll, we'll take five. We'll take five people. But, and we adopted, we foster or sponsored 12 kids. We didn't foster them. Uh, we sponsored 12 kids. And uh, when I saw some of the things that these kids were asking for, it, it gutted me, man. I'm like, dude, that's all they want? Well, yeah, that's all I want. I'm like, no. Like, we're going to we're gonna go hard. So me being me, I'm like, hey, I told my wife, Jen, she works with me. Stop. She works with me, and I'm like, "Hey, we're gonna take all the families, or how many are there?" She's 29. We're gonna take all of them, and I took it from, "Hey, something we've never done before," to this massive orchestration. I think we raised close to 10k. Um, I've not done the final counts and stuff yet. Uh, count what we bought on Amazon, or what, what you guys bought on Amazon, what we bought on Amazon. Um, I bought my dude a pair of shoes. Uh, the financial donations so we could go shop for these families. It's been, it was a huge impact. And I feel like I won. I feel like we won when we did this, but because of the way I operate sometimes, I, uh, I take a little bit too much on. Um, and let me back up on top of this. So black mountain home, growing and scaling her gym, looking to start a partnership for another business. Uh, one of my coaches do call or, qualified, whatever it is, to go on the world team for Muay Thai and MMA. So we're going to go to Scotland in June, and we got one day notice. Like, hey, you have to pay this much now. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So we're doing that. We're doing all of this. And because of it, uh, it's been really difficult, right? I operate at a very, very breakneck speed. I am moving constantly. Or I'm not moving at all, one of the two. But uh, I'm, I'm moving at a high rate of speed. And I'll change my mind in an instant with the data that I have there. And that's one thing about being a CEO is I'll change my mind mid-stride, mid make a pivot, and we'll go. Because that's the data I have. It's very rarely as emotional. Seeing the families not getting things they wanted was the emotional thing. I don't care. I will make it happen. It's what I do. Um, but 
I'll, br- I'll I'll change direction, and it's really difficult for people to keep up with me, and it's not fair that that especially to my wife um, that I operate that way. So you know, it's been interesting. You know, so what I'm going to do for these podcasts is I'm going to go wins, losses, lessons learned, things that uh, we executed well, uh, things that did not go as planned or just kind of sucked. Um, not failures, but losses, and then lessons learned. We're gonna, we're going to spend a little more time on that. So our win uh, for sure was we. We kicked ass, man. We kicked ass with Black Mountain Home. Um, again, I don't have a final total yet. Uh, I'm still getting money here and there on occasion. But um, everybody I leaned on, everybody I reached out to, everybody, a lot of people in the gym, they did something awesome. They, you know, they donated financially. They donated their time. We had a, a, a road Christmas club instead of road combat club. Uh, we did a Friday. We, we put a bunch of baskets there. So my wife and I primarily bought all the gifts. We went to Walmart countless fucking times. Um, and we went to Walmart because it was easy, man. I'll be honest with you. It's a huge undertaking. We're doing things differently in the next year, which we'll talk about that in lessons learned. But like we went hard and we, we filled up my vehicle, we filled up her vehicle. I, I had like three big totes on the back of my truck on the Bronco with a little rack and shit. I ratchet strapped that thing to death to make sure nothing fell off. Uh, we won, man. We, we That was a big fucking win. It was the, the impact that we made with our, our members at the gym, uh, even friends of members in the gym who came in and helped us. Death. So that was a huge fucking win. And then meeting the people at Black Mountain Home was awesome. Dude, it just... Yeah, man. So I do have empathy, apparently. Uh, not as much as most of you guys, and it's very selective, but I do have empathy. Um, so that was a big win for us. You know, and, you know, one of the losses that was stemmed from this, because it, nothing's black or white, man. There's nothing good or nothing bad. Uh, one of the losses, well, my wife and I have been fighting a lot more. Um, not a bunch, you know, by any standard, but we've been fighting a lot more. It's she's super stressed because I unloaded this burden on her and she feels like that when I say, Hey, we're going to do this. So she has to carry the load. Like, and this is something I've, I've been, we're both working on is just because I say something doesn't mean you have to do it. You know, just because I have a problem or I'm venting in the way, the best way I've heard is, is just because I put something down, put, I put something out there, something emotional, something that's that a burden that I'm carrying, just because I put it down doesn't mean you have to pick it up, you know, and that's who she is. She, she takes unbelievable care of me. I, I'm, I'm a needy bitch. I'll be honest. I'm high maintenance. My love language is physical touch. And my second love language is more physical touch. Uh, so I want her to touch me, pet me, do softies, whatever it is at all times. But I also expect uh, quality time where we're, we're just there together, you know, and because of that, um, we, uh, not because of physical touch, it's just, I'm a needy bitch. Um, it's why I do jujitsu. I'm pretty sure. Uh, even though they're violent touches, they're trying to kill me. I, it's physical touching, but you know, with me personally, like do I, 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 I didn't communicate as well as I should have. And that was, that was a big loss. So, uh, you know, it's another win is like, so we used to fight in the beginning when we were fucking going through shit show and we're not the humans we were today. She'd be mad for fucking 10, 12 hours. Now she's getting mad at me for a lot less time. So, you know, she's, she's developing. That's a huge win for me as well is we're both learning how to speak with each other. But you know, I do, I dumped a fucking dump truck load of shit on her. I'm like, Hey Jen, not only do you have to do employer reviews and make sure you know you have your meetings and, and doing the trainings and stuff to make sure people are doing the things they need to do, but you also have to help me orchestrate this massive fucking operation um, of trying to save the world. Uh, and it's been tough, but you know so that was the biggest loss we had. We still spend time together. The time we spent together is great. You know, we we're fucking passionate people. We love passionately. We fight passionately. I fight like a motherfucker. I love that same way as well, but that that was the only real, you know, not the only real. That was a loss that I really kind of sat and thought about this week. You're like, damn, dude, you know what? That, that does kind of suck. Do we're, we're moving in the right direction, you know, and that's a big thing. So, you know, when you're doing things, and remember, I, I'm not just, I'm why did this just do this? I'm not just the CEO of Real Combat Club. I'm launching another business. I am a psychopath i am a high level athlete i'm a coach like i'm planning things like i have a family like not a family i have a wife and a high maintenance fucking dog 
Like we do things, a lot of things, and and I I just I think the biggest loss was uh, may have taken on too much. You know, that's a big one for us. So lessons learned uh, in regards to a lot of things is, you know, just communicating that better. Do a better job letting her know that she doesn't have to carry the load. She's going to try. That's who she is, and I love her. And that's a big reason we work out is because we are both. We will get it done no matter what. But it's really important that I communicate and we plan a little better. That, that's a big one. Um so in regards to business, this is not a relationship podcast. Uh, I'm a little sip of coffee. In relation to business, all right, lessons learned. As I have looked at working with other people, looked at other businesses to buy, um, stuff like that, I'm really good at what I do. And it was a friendly reminder from one of my coaches, like, hey, man, just do what you know what you're supposed to do. I'm, oh, yeah, thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm good at what I do. Um, you know, I talk about I operate at an insane rate and, and change directions at, at, at a fucking drop of a hat, but I'm able to get it done. So I, I understanding that I will get it done has it, been huge for me. It allows me to get outside of my comfort zone, um, take risks that most people are afraid to take. I will get it done. No matter what it takes, I will get it done. Um, you know, and so that was really good for me to notice or know um, and being, I'm, I'm capable of a fucking ton. Like, like I can do really, really well in a lot of areas and I just have to make sure I believe in myself. And, and that's, that's a tough one, man. We go, we go through the world. We're constantly comparing ourselves to other people. Um, and I, I don't know exactly what triggered in my head that, dude, you are fucking really good at what you do. Like, don't want to be arrogant about it, but I am. Like I am in the top one percent of this industry for a fucking reason. I'm just. When I, I think one of the metrics that fucks me up is I look at people in other industry making more money. Oh, they're better than me. I'm like, no, dude, you're just in a higher profit business. Like, you have a different business model. Um, you're at the lowest one percent of your fucking industry. So, looking, at, I think what really helped was having conversations with other business owners, right, uh, in other industries. I'm like, damn, you are fucking lame right so it's been big for me um you know it, it, it's just come on work i really don't know how to put it in words right um i think it's just consistency i've been consistently working and doing things and i'm kind of starting to see the pay the payoff you know i'm up six or seven pounds i forget exactly i haven't weighed today uh i got abs i've been lifting consistently i've been doing the things to move the needle with uh, growing my, <clears throat> my my current business, looking to set up my future businesses, uh, dude. I just jokingly, I talked about opening another business with another friend of mine who I, I fucking love and respect. I'm a huge fan of, and he's like, "Hey, we need to seriously talk about this." I've joked about it a few times. I'm like, actually, that may not be a bad idea either. So, you know, being able to do these things has been really huge for me. It, it's you know. I'm capable of a lot more than I think. And I think you guys are as well. I know for a fact you guys are as well. You know, I hold myself back a lot. And that's probably the biggest thing. And when, you know, when I do that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing the, I'm not living my purpose, right? When I live in fear, because I'm afraid of failing, afraid of you guys seeing me fail, I'm not being the example, right? And, and that really, really messes my day up. You know, it, it, I cannot operate that way. So what's next? My phone is function. Um, well, the holidays, right? So I've been going really, really hard for a long time. And I'm going to make my personal life my main priority from now until the new year. Uh, yes, I have a business. I plan on opening in 2024. Um, another business, but that, that can fucking wait, dude. If it's February 1st or January 1st, it's not a big deal. So we're going to start that up. Uh, I'm gonna spend time. I'm gonna plan 2024 out with my wife. We have a planning trip coming up over over Christmas break. We're gonna plan plan 2024 personal and road combat club, and then kind of see where we can put the other things in there. Uh, and we're just gonna really refine what we're doing. Like that that's gonna be a big one. And I'm excited about it. I'm really fucking excited to 
I know I'm capable of a lot. I know I can do a lot of fucking things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have more specific planning. I could imagine where I'd be if I didn't just go in the general right direction. So this year, my word of the year is hone, H-O-N-E. Uh, and second news resolution, it doesn't suck. Um, and we're going to refine what we're doing. And we're going to, everything's going to have a plan. Everything's going to have an intention. We're going to move with intention this year. Uh, it's going to be really, really powerful. Uh, it's going to be a fun year. So I'm super excited about it. Uh, I love you guys. If you need anything, as always hit me up. I'm going to put the links to whatever, uh, Black Mountain Home, if you want to support them. Dude, if you, you want to support a, a, an awesome organization, that's absolutely one of them. They're fucking phenomenal. Um, I just got kicked out of a Zoom. Um, but if you want, you know, if you, if you want to support them, that's awesome. If you want to follow me, Instagram, have that up there, uh, or email. I hate Johnny Buck at gmail.com. It's old, but I like it. All right, guys, I love you. I want to see you guys win. If you need anything, as always, hit me up. I look forward to seeing you guys uh, on the next show. All right, later.